now under year two under Matt McMahon, I think year one progressing to year two will be huge for this program because Matt McMahon, he came over from Murray State and he had a rough first season, but honestly, all things considered, it could have been a lot worse. He started his tenure with just zero scholarship players. George, you talked about this in your article. And he put together something with a few LSU guys he convinced to stay, plus the rest of the roster kind of made up of a few Murray State guys that he brought with him. They look a lot – things look a lot brighter this year. And it starts with transfers from the mid-major level. Ben, talk to me about Jalen Cook from Tulane. So Jalen Cook's an interesting case. He actually started his career at LSU before transferring to Tulane. Um, but now he was back in Baton Rouge, and he can score the ball like no one else, it feels like, right? This is an excellent piece to add for, uh, for Matt McMahon. And when you combine that with Carlos Stewart, you're going to have a pretty small backcourt. Both of those guys are six foot and six foot one, respectively. But you're going to make up for it by bringing in a couple of players that they also had. They had bring back Derek Fountain, which is a good piece to have as a power forward. He's experienced. He, can, he knows what his job is on the court. But then you look at guys like Will Baker, transfer from Nevada, two-time transfer actually, started his career at Texas. He can be a force on the inside. And then my favorite player that they brought in is Damian Collins, right? He never, we never really saw what he could do at Kentucky, um, but his athleticism has never been questioned. He's an absolute pogo stick, and I can't wait to see how McMahon is able to use him in this rotation of pre- uh, seven pretty strong players, I think. I think they're going to be able to score the ball pretty well. George, do you think that this team, 83, we have them ranked for LSU, do you think that perhaps as a site as a whole, we underranked the Tigers? I think given the losses towards the end of the bottom uh, of the SEC, if you look at Vanderbilt, you look at other teams in that position, LSU might be the most improved team from last year to this year. Obviously, you can only go – up from two and 16 in the conference, but replacing Adam Miller and Cam Hayes with Cook and Stewart is such a huge pickup for McMahon. Getting two guards that can shoot and shoot consistently is huge. Uh, Will Baker, 13.6 per game from Nevada. Mountain West has gotten so strong that at that point, it's really like a high mid-major. That can translate easily to the SEC. Stewart can score from all over the court. Uh, one person I really am interested in is Derek Fountain. Playing second horse to KJ Williams last year. Really, the whole team ran through Williams. But Fountain had sparks where you could see, oh, this kid is going to be po- probably one of the better options next year for the team. I think that 26 points and four blocks against Alabama, the number one team in the country at the time last year. It's fantastic. And then also freshman Mike Williams. LSU has still not the best guard depth, so getting him in early, uh, if he can shoot, would be fantastic for this Tigers team. 